step is to remove the ECU itself. Um, first thing you want to do is take your battery loose. I'm sure you can figure that out. Eight millimeters. Pull that out. This battery box here has to come out. That'll have a nut right in here, one right there, and some, some little wire stuck to it. The tricky part about getting this box out is actually um, where the let's see if I can get a light in here is where the wiring harness connects to this. It can be kind of fiddly and irritating. But um, see these little tabs actually I've already got mine loose, but these little tabs right here, these little square things, lock into the wire harness right here. And those are kind of a pain in the butt to get out. You'll think the battery box is stuck, but it isn't. Keep fiddling with it. Pry on it with some screwdrivers, you'll get it. Your ECU is right there against the firewall. Um, that's already my new one, but um, there'll be four bolts in it. One, two, the bottom ones, they're down there, you'll see them. They'll be in roughly the same location. They're kind of hard to get to. Yeah, they're there. Somewhere. Trust me. But um, yeah, you can get them. They're all 10 millimeter. Um, to disconnect the ECU, you see these big pull tabs. You just finger back there, pull it forward towards you, and that'll loosen this, uh, that'll loosen this connector here. I'm not gonna take my back out, but you get the point. <laughs> But uh, I found it easier that the bottom, the bottom connector, the wiring was kind of pulled tight and it was sort of hard to get off of there until I had loosened the bottom. If I loosened all the bolts and then uh, freed the ECU and it uh, made it easier to get that connector off of there. But yeah, there you go. That's where your ECU is and how to... I can't really show you. It's... Um... You're gonna have to call your locksmith or take it into the Ford dealer. I found a locksmith locally. Uh, actually, not locally. He had to travel a bit, so. But they charge, you know, around probably 120 to 175 dollars, depending on your location. They'll come out. They'll do a parameter reset on this, and then program your new keys in. And the car should be ready to run, as long as you did everything right. But that's pretty much it go all back together um locksmith i had him come in yesterday actually yeah a little little time lapse there and uh he did the parameter reset and programmed the keys um that's the key i had with the car originally and this is the janky amazon key that i had cut at walmart <laughs> and uh yeah he programmed that too and they both work you have to have two keys don't forget that so let's see if they both work real quick. Well, it's actually not much of a mystery. I know they both work, but here you go. There you go, and it's alive. <laughs>